we are fueled, packed, ready to leave Swakopmund. Uh, Stefan had a bit of a problem with his exhaust pipe, so he's sorting it out at one of the AMOs here in Swakop. Uh, so he should be up and running fairly soon. I think their plan is probably just to head direct to Solitaire. And of course our plan is to follow the coast up to Conception Bay where the Edward Boland shipwreck is and then route direct inland to Solitaire. So it should be about an hour and a half's flight, maybe hour 45 minutes. And then we're on our way. Oh, I mean now we're starting, we route, well I suppose from Puros we were kind of routing back towards South Africa. But leaving the country is getting closer which is sad. Yeah. But also at the same time it's... Looking forward to home. Looking forward to home. It's been a, it's been a long journey. <laughs> So when we woke up this morning and spoke about it was completely fogged in. Obviously it's burning off now as the day gets warmer. This uh, this type of fog actually feeds most of the plants and animals and all sorts of stuff living out there in the dunes. There's actually quite a lot of wildlife out here, which is super interesting for a desert. And uh, this is the exact reason why all these clouds. And it's very common that it, it happens here. So yeah, it's always interesting to learn about new weather patterns and new weather systems. And this is a, a very common one that you can predict quite well here in uh, Walpus Bay and Swakopmund. Walpus Bay Special Rules India Delta Hotel and Company is currently 600 feet, uh, just up ahead, salty. Routing in a southerly direction for Sandwich Harbour. So yeah, our routing now is via Sandwich Harbour where the dunes meet the, the ocean. And then we'll continue on to a, a shipwreck called the Edward Boland Shipwreck. Super interesting thing there is that the, de the desert has actually moved further into the ocean. The shipwreck is 500 meters offshore. So you look, people wonder how in the hell did this ship end up five meters <laughs> onshore? It must have been going at a real pace. Yeah, it must have absolutely beached itself. But the sand has just covered it over the years. I don't know how old the shipwreck is, but it's super interesting and also just gives you an idea of how much the, the desert actually moves and how much the dunes move around here. Wow, look at that. That is honestly Lawrence of Arabia stuff right there. Where else in the world do you see this? I'd really like to know if anyone can put it in the comments down below where dunes literally meet the ocean and like 2,000 miles worth of ocean yeah. to the nearest land. I mean, I think it could even be more than that. India Delta Hotel is 400 feet, flooded to just uh, to the south of Sandwich Harbour now, reading southbound for Conception Bay. What's that? What? Two o'clock, do you think there's a seal? Oh, there must be, yeah. That's cool. We're going to check them out. Yeah. Actually, just makes me like so happy that life does so well out here. Yeah, it does so well because humans don't like living out here. Yeah, this is literally what I came to Namibia for is to see this. Oh, that's absolutely stunning, huh? These dunes just roll for hundreds of kilometers inland. Oh, that apple pie is calling. That oh, is apple pie and apple beer. <laughs> I definitely think I'm going to go on a detox when I get off this trip. But it's been good. I mean, I, we and I have certainly enjoyed this trip to the pillars. We, we, you know, when we get back, we aren't going to say like, oh, I wish we would have done that. And I wish we literally, yeah. we ate, we drank, we flew, we had good laughs. We watched the Earth eat butter because we thought it was cheese. We had all of the laughs. So that was my favorite part. Oh, 
Oh, this is, must be uh, one of the least touched places in the world. I think it's almost untouched. Yeah, and that's purely because of how Namibia has organized their national park. They've worked out a way for it to be sustainable for people as well as the animals and then the areas around as well. But people actually make money off it being a national park. Yeah. So we're approaching uh, Edward Boland shipwreck, and uh, as we mentioned, it's quite interesting to see the shipwreck far inland. It's probably 500 meters inland. It just shows you how much the, the the dunes have washed into the ocean. Look at that shipwreck. Oh man! Wow. The desert is reclaiming that ship. Do you intend to continue to Bay or Bay, or are you going inward? No, negative. We'll go straight to Solitaire from here. Oh, so a good little uh, coastal tour. Now we're trucking on inland straight to Solitaire. It is rolling dunes for as far as the eye can see and it's just it's quite terrifying actually anything wants to go wrong there uh, it'd be a while before anyone could find you it's eerie it's uh, actually is quite eerie flying over the dunes like this vast emptiness which could just eat you up this will swallow you whole but like you almost have to like take a deep breath every now and then and you're just like jeepers look at where we're flying i know but like the amount of emotions is like so exciting but terrifying yeah, it's, <laughs> you're just it's, like, it's like awe-inspiring, like I'm awestruck that yeah. we are literally in the middle of the desert. Yeah. When did you ever think you'd be in the middle of the desert? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we've got about five minutes to Solitaire, which is a town of 92 people. A hustling, bustling city of Solitaire. They are the thriving metropolis that is uh, Solitaire. We have arrived at the interesting town of Solitaire, aptly named Solitaire, due to the complete solitude of here. Very cool little flight over the dunes, first to Conception Bay and then back over the dunes here. And then it sort of opens up into like a grasslandy area, like it is further to the east of Namibia. Um, but yeah, very, very cool flight. I certainly wouldn't want to crash my aeroplane anywhere between here and Conception Bay because people slightly louder than would video while I'm trying to also do an Instagram post. This is Thomas Mero. <laughs> yeah, you certainly wouldn't want to go down between Conception Bay and here. <laughs> they would take quite a few days to find you, I presume. But great flight, no hiccups, absolutely perfect. Testament to the beautiful Kit Plans for Africa Safari, but more so India Delta Hotel. I feel like this is Nevada, like you find like one of those like motels. In the middle of literally nowhere. So there's like a junkyard, a car junkyard, which we'll go and see. We'll go sit in some cars, hopefully. Some junkers. But first priority is to get that apple pie in our tummies. Apparently world famous. And it only comes out of solitaire. The 92 people, we'll, see, we'll find the board with how, what the population is. But the 92 people that live here are expert apple pie tartists. Bake, bakemans. Bakerists. Bakerists. Expert. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. I hope it's good. It's very nice, good. And, nice and fresh. Eh? Nice very, and very good. Thank you. You won't be disappointed. Cool. Thank you very much. Enjoy it. You ready for this? Yeah, it's, uh, it's apparently supposed to change lives. I don't know.
Yeah, it's probably the best I've had. It's better than the oyster. <laughs> I feel like Much we... better than the oyster last night, that's for sure. I feel like it's really good, but I haven't had a lot of apple pies other Recently. than the McDonald's one, so I don't have much to compare I could be me. an apple pie connoisseur. Mm. Alright, we are now exploring the tiny town of Solitaire. I want to actually try and find the sign that's got all the population numbers on it. Apparently this is a tiny, I don't even know if it's a town, maybe it's just like someone's farm. But yeah, they do classify it as a town apparently. And we've got all these uh, junk cars around. It's quite a, an arb town. Maybe it's like really hippie um, alternative. I guess is the best word. 250 miles from Walthus Bay. Apparently 300 miles from Vintuk. Another few hundred miles from Sausesflo. So yeah, we are truly in the middle of nowhere. So I guess it's time to have a look inside one of these little cars. Might need to yeah, reduce my, well, you can still see. I'm not really sure about where I should step here. So that's definitely not very safe. We've got a gear lever. Works quite well. No steering wheel. Oh, I don't think it turns right. Apparently it doesn't turn left. Oh, it turns back left, but it stops. Huh. This one's still got a bit of a seat pan. Is that a cushion? No, this looks like a fuel tank. Oh, this steering wheel goes, oh, it only goes left, this one. Whereas the other one only goes right. Yeah, so this place is smack bang in the middle of nowhere. Probably the best place to be if you want to run away from someone. You've got a hardcore relationship <laughs> and you want to get away from your, your ex person. I think solitaire would probably be the place to come. No one's finding you here, that's for sure. So people on their way to the park of Sausage Flow come past here there's a petrol station here which does really well it's got a accommodation it's got a church of all things and it's got an activity center it has got an activity center I don't know what activities you can do in there but it's big enough for yoga that's for sure guess we should do some yoga there while we while we're here yeah. it's also got a bus parking big enough for a bus yeah. order of the afternoon is to fly drones my battery doesn't quite last as long as Travis's one, so he's already oh, flying. Are you kidding me? That wasn't rolling. But I'm, uh, you chilled with us chasing the plane, huh? Yeah. Yeah. As long as we, as long as you're not chasing the drone, it's fine. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Craig is lining up. He's ready to go. I need to fire up the FPV. We're gonna do some, uh, some chasing of the aeroplane. I'm sure he's gonna do a run up before he goes. And yeah, let's uh, get it going. Drove across the Natchez Bridge today. You opened up the door. Had to be wondering what's this hand of hope. You can take that off the bucket. I mean, it's been on my bucket list for years to come through to Solitaire International. So I'm glad we came. Got to sit in the crash gyro, which is against the sign there. I don't know how they got the front part underneath the sign. Interesting. But that is the day. That is the day of Solitaire. That's it. Now to go play some battleships. <laughs> now it's time to go for dinner. Probably have a shower because I feel like I have dust all over me. And then go to bed. Like two good little boys. After some gin. Excuse me? 